Here we've got Deuces in the small blind. Spraggy, who's an avid Oasis fan, like he really loves him, opens a 20 in the hijack. The button calls, I call. Jeff Boski calls in the big blind. We're going four ways to the flop. It's 10-8 deuce with two hearts. We have bottom set against a couple of my favorite people in poker, Jeff Boski and little Gordon Ramsay. I check, Jeff checks, Spraggy loves pain. He bets 55. The button calls, there are lots of draws. I'm not gonna slow play this. I raise a 200. Jeff doesn't have anything to stick around with. He folds. Spraggy is a non-believer. He three bet rips it in for 864 effective, like some kind of mad villain in Doctor Who. The button folds. I call. I'm playing a huge all in for this game against one of my buddies, and I have no idea what he has. We're good. I like the bet on uh, Brad. The turn is the queen of spades, so queens and jack nine are now beating me. The river is the four of diamonds. We show Spraggy our hand, and the dude is not happy. What insane loser you have, actually? Aces are real, real, real. Kings. Oh, oh, this feels so good. Put all his money in his one pair. I check raise and he just rips it. Does he have any What's he got? Uh, all right. It's always bittersweet to beat your buddy in a huge all-in situation. Obviously, I'm happy to win the pot, and I know Spraggy's happy for me to have a lot of his money. Plus, it's captured on video that'll be on YouTube forever, but Marley has left Spraggy here without a car by himself, and it got really uncomfortable when Spraggy told me that he might need to borrow money for a bus ride home. I had to tell him no. He's a really good friend, but he needs to learn some lessons the hard way, like not to get it in with one pair for 200 big blinds and multi-way pots. It'll be for his own good. To make things tougher, I got the sense that he didn't like having to watch me write notes about the hand in my phone, mostly because he tweeted about it. I can definitely understand how that would be annoying. If I just played a hand terribly and got stacked, I wouldn't want there to be any documentation of it either. It's just that I'm trying to make the vlog the best that it can be. I have to provide a lot of details, and sometimes when I'm writing all those details of the hand history, it takes a little while. I even put in hand history keys in my notes. It's a tough one for Spraggy. My advice to him is, you gotta roll with it, you know what I mean? Some might say, don't look back in anger. And I don't think that he did. Thanks, man. Really nice time.